give you a handcuff. I'm gonna talk to somebody. Melanie, else. it's okay. How's the baby? Good. Real good. Keeps kicking me in the ribs though. <laughs> <laughs> Only three more months? Wow. <laughs> I can't believe it. I have pictures. <laughs> Let me see. Oh. Wow. <laughs> He's so beautiful. I'm sure Josh can't wait. He's already bought 10 baseball jumpers. <laughs> <laughs> he also decorated the nursery. Baseball themed, of course. Oh. I'm so happy for you, Melanie. You deserve this more than anybody you do. Have you thought of a name? Anthony. <laughs> After Tony Lazari? Who else? <laughs> well, at least he didn't go with Babe. Actually, had to talk him out of that one. <laughs> Are you ready to do this? I am. You okay? Do you need anything before we start? I'm okay, Melanie. Emma, you took the lives of 20 people. The way you murdered your victims was so brutal that many investigators vomited at the scene of the crime. You decided to plead guilty, and you've been sentenced to death. You've been sentenced to death. You're set to be executed on April 7th, 2034. So, <laughs> I guess my first question is, how are you feeling? When did this all start? I'm at peace with everything, Melanie. Truly, I am. <laughs> of course, there are some days I feel like I'm living in a nightmare that I can't wake up from. But... <laughs> to answer your other question, when? When it started was, was shortly after Mommy died. You never wanted to talk about her death. But do you even remember? Are you gonna be okay, Melanie? Do you want me to continue? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Go on. It was Halloween. I remember I was feeling so nauseous that morning. So I, I threw up a lot. Random mommies. Emma, did you have another nightmare? Do <laughs> mm. you want to talk about it? No. Emma, I can't help you if you don't talk about it. I don't want to talk about it, Mommy. Please don't make me talk about it. Okay. <laughs> shh, 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 shh. Can I get you anything? Did you throw up again? A little bit. Oh. How about a soda? Yeah, okay. Okay, I'll go. I'll be right back. You feel better? Yeah. Thank you, mommy. No. You're welcome, sweetheart. 
You sure you don't want to talk about it? I'm sure. <sighs> Honey, if you don't talk to me about it, I, how can I help you? I mean, you've been having these nightmares for weeks and you never want to talk to me about it. What else can I do to help you? Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay, let's try this. How about you try taking a deep breath and then thinking of a good memory? Like what? Um, how about that time you and Melanie got into my makeup and drew all over each other? It's not a good memory. You were pissed. Hmm. You're right. Okay, so that wasn't a good example, but you understand what I mean? Mm-hmm. You feeling better? Yeah. You want anything to eat? No. Do you want any ice cream? We have ice cream? Yeah, we have ice cream. Since when do we not have ice cream? What kind? Let's go see. your bottle? Melanie, I'm serious. <laughs> Get out! Uh, oh, oh, real mature, Melanie. Uh, real mature. This is what you look like. You're doing this is what you look like. Hey! What the hell is going on in here? Melanie won't leave me alone. Don't grow up, Emma. Don't fucking tell me to grow Whoa, up. Whoa, Emma. Emma. What's your language? My bad. No, not my bad. <sighs> I'm sorry. Melanie, go get changed. Go to your room. I need to talk to you in the living room. Emma gets away with everything. Melanie! Whoa, whoa, God! Girls! Oh my goodness! Bitch! Emma! What has gotten into you? You have got to calm down with your sister. And clean up your room. It's a mess. So I'm guessing I'm grounded now. No, Melanie, you're not grounded, but this shit with your sister has got to stop. Why are you always messing with her? I'm not always messing with her. Yes, you are. Well, maybe if you didn't treat her like she was five years old, I wouldn't have to. I do not treat her like she's five years old. Yes, you do. She can't do anything on her own. You literally have to remind her to shower. <sighs> Melanie, look, I know you're older and I expect a lot out of you. But you have to understand, Emma is just so... Childish? It's not exactly what I was going to say. Emma, she's just so sensitive. You know she's been having these awful nightmares. And she's having a really hard time processing all of it. I just need you to be a little bit more patient, right? No. Melanie, look at me. Hi. Just listen. I know ever since your dad died, our relationship has been tense. But that makes sense that you would take that out on me, but there's no reason for you to hold that against your little sister. Well, maybe if you hadn't cheated on dad and gotten pregnant with Emma, dad would still be here. Watch it. What happened to Emma's dad, Mommy? It's funny how one man left and the other one killed himself. What an awful thing to say to your mother. 
All I'm saying is it's no surprise that the only one I see sneaking into your room late at night is Emma. Did you rock her to sleep, Melanie? Okay. Melanie? I am done with your disrespect. Go to your room. We'll finish this discussion tomorrow. Is everything okay? Uh-oh. Baby's crying. Should I heat up the bottle this time? Oh, my good. Melanie, get to your room! Fine, I will! Oh. Lose the attitude, Mel! about earlier. Emma, I just really don't like it when you use the F word. There's so many other ways you can express yourself. But Emma, you know what? To Stop. 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 I know that Melanie wasn't being nice to you, but I still don't want you using that word. Okay? Okay. So you're not mad? No, I'm not mad. So I can still go to basketball practice tomorrow? Yes, you can still go to basketball practice tomorrow. Do you know where my jersey is? Yes, I put it in the washer for you. Oh, cool. <sighs> oh, come here. Do you have to go out tonight? Oh, yeah. Amy would be so disappointed if I didn't go. Plus, I spent way too much money on that freaking cat costume. True, but... But what, honey? What if I have another nightmare? Do you remember what we talked about? Yeah. Just take a deep breath and think of a good memory. Can you think of a good memory right now? Mm. When I made the winning shot last year? Oh, yes. That was a great shot. Yeah. Everyone cheered. Even Melanie was proud, which is rare. Mm. She's really not that nice to you, is she? Not at all. Well, if it's any consolation, she's not very nice to me either. You should have put her up for adoption. Oh, stop. I couldn't do that. I love both my babies. She's meaner when you're gone. Emma, listen to me. I'm not always going to be around here to protect you. You've got to stand up for yourself. Yeah, but Melanie's always Just messing with me. Let me finish. You always have to do what's right, even if it goes against what everybody else thinks. You can't let anyone walk all over you, even Melanie. She walks all over you. But I can ground her. <laughs> I love you, Mommy. I love you more. Hey, I got something for you. What? Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay. Look what I got for you to wear tonight. Sweet, thank you. Little pumpkin jammies for my pumpkin. All right, Amy's gonna be here in about 45 minutes. I gotta go get ready. Put your PJs on. Okay. Have fun cuddling with mommy. Shut up, Melanie. <laughs> Did she get you pajamas with little pumpkins on them? You're supposed to be good at basketball. Fuck off. <laughs> How late are you? 
going to be out? As late as I want. Do you have to go out? I mean, this is your one night off, and I was hoping we could oh, hang out Oh, that exactly. It's my one night off. Do you know how rare that is for me? Yeah, but I was hoping we could hang out together tonight. I never get to see you. Oh, you'll see me tomorrow. Apparently, I have basketball practice tomorrow. <sighs> Emma. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> Come on, sweetheart. I work three jobs. When I come home, I have to take care of the house, pay the bills, fold the laundry. Don't you think I deserve a little time with my friends? Yeah, but mommy, you promised you- oh. Emma Louise, just give me this one night. Just this one night to be free. That's my girl. Besides, your Aunt Bethany and I were planning a girl's trip to the cabin. Seriously? Mm-hmm. Would you like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, is my tail on straight? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Emma, smile. It's Halloween. You girls get to stay up as late as you want, eat all the junk food, watch all the horror movies, clean the kitchen. <laughs> Just don't let there be any flashing lights when I get home. Oh, that must be Amy. Oh, Hi, Amy. Amy seems to be here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm spreading a little late. Yourself. Oh no, that's just Emma. I mean, why do I have to go yeah, to a stupid party? Okay, just give me a couple minutes and I'll be right there. I promise you. All right, see you there. Here. Bye. Oh my goodness, Emma. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? You're looking a little pale. I'll be fine, mommy. Just go have fun. All right, well, make sure you eat something. You know how you get dizzy. But not too much candy. No promises. Okay. All right, I'll see you in a little while, right? Mommy? Yeah, honey? Can you give me a hug? Oh, Emma, of course. Oh, Emma, honey, what is wrong? I just miss you when you're gone. Oh, baby, I miss you too. I miss you too, but honey, you're going to see me tomorrow, all right? It's going to be okay. Shh. Hey, tell Melanie I said goodbye, all right? And you guys have fun tonight. I love you. Okay. Don't look so sad. I'll see you tomorrow.
<sighs> Shit, look at this mess. Mom's gonna kill us. <laughs> Before I begin, I just want to take a moment and thank you all for being here on this tremendously difficult day. Today we honor the life of my best friend, Jenna Rose Robertson. Melanie and Emma asked me to read this for y'all today. And I couldn't be more honored that they have chosen me to share the precious moments that they had with their mother. The girls told me that they stayed up all night writing this to make sure that it was perfect. And I just hope I do it justice for you both. It's difficult to describe to you all just how wonderful her mother was. A mother isn't only a mother. A real mother has many titles. She was our mentor, our teacher, our therapist, our nurse, and a constant presence in our lives that no one could ever replace. When we found out she died, our entire world collapsed. In an instant, our lives were changed. Mommy worked three jobs and yet always made time to make it to Emma's basketball games or Melanie's cheerleading competitions. Knowing that Mommy won't ever be able to cheer us on is the worst feeling in the world. I don't know when we'll be able to go back to school, but what we fear most is coming home and knowing that Mom won't be rushing in after work to give us a hug. Mommy gave the best hugs. We would do anything for one last hug. 
I asked Emma and Melanie if I could say a few words about my best friend. Jenna and I have been working together for almost 10 years. She trained me, and on my first day, the only thing I could remember was how much she made me laugh. I was so nervous, but she instantly put my mind at ease. That's the kind of woman Jenna was. She always made people feel good about themselves. We talked a lot, mostly about her girls. She talked about how Emma won several games with her incredible shot, or how much she was impressed by Melanie's dedication not only to cheerleading and to school, but also to her friends. You both were always on her mind. The last conversation we had was actually about you both. She told me how much she wished she could spend more time with you. I know that as she took her last breath, that she was thinking about you girls. Melanie and Emma, your mother was the type of mother that many people pray about. I know it feels like she's not here with you anymore, but the type of love that your mother had doesn't just go away in one night. It'll be here with you for eternity. Thank you girls for giving me this honor. I love you both very, very much. <laughs> Tommy. Just wanted to see how you and Melanie were doing. I'll be home in an hour or so. I have something exciting to tell you. I love you, baby. I'll see you soon. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm so sorry, Bobby. We never celebrated Halloween ever again after that. I used to love the smell of fall weather, but now it just makes me sick. I know what you
you, babe? Are you okay? It's just... After my dad killed himself, I feel like mom started treating me like an adult. I was suddenly responsible for everything. Cooking, cleaning, laundry, everything. I hated her for it, Emma. I felt like I didn't even have time to mourn Dad's death. And I blamed you and Mom for a suicide. I'm so sorry I felt that way. It's okay, Melanie. Oh, it's not. <laughs> Emma, I didn't even tell her goodbye. The last time we spoke was when we had that stupid fight on Halloween. It was so mean to her all the time. She didn't deserve that. I just, I would give anything to tell her that I'm sorry. I just wish I could hear her voice one more time. You know, I never told you this, but Mommy left a voicemail just moments before she died. I didn't notice it until the day of the funeral, but... <laughs> I, I used to listen to that every day just to hear her voice, but now I don't even have that melody. <laughs> what did it say? It said... It said... I am a... It's Mommy. I just wanted to see how you and Melanie were doing. I should be home in an hour or so. I have something exciting to tell you. I, lo I love you, baby. I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Jesus. You memorized it? Yeah. <laughs> I listen to it every day. Why didn't you tell me this before? Because I can't help but think, Melody. What if I would have answered? Maybe that monster would have left her alone. Emma, <laughs> you can't blame yourself for that. It's hard not to. <sighs> Emma, something I don't understand is you said you saw you saw a man hurting mom? Yeah. What do you mean by that? I just get these images in my head. Images that I can't control. I've always had terrible nightmares. They were more than just nightmares, Melody. What do you mean? Do you remember Hannah Jones? The English teacher? Yeah, of course. Her husband went missing. Turn on the recorder. <laughs>